Hey everyone, Kyle here. Um, so in one of the last videos, I created an Eleven Labs replication of my voice, right? and I got it to then be dubbed into Dutch, uh, just for a bit of a laugh more than anything else. Um, but I wanted to try and take this a little bit further, and decided to use HeyGen, which is a video avatar platform, and integrate that with Eleven Labs to do um, educational video content creation. Um, and try and get the lip sync working so it doesn't look like a really badly dubbed movie uh, when we do it like you had in the last video. So let's have a look at how that worked. Hey everyone, Kyle here. Um, just wanted to test out this HeyGen avatar creator. I've integrated it with Eleven Labs to try and pull through my voice as well. Uh, let's see how that works. Um, and then how does it change the avatar to look like it's me saying it um, when it actually isn't? Let's give it a go. So as you can see there, that was a complete avatar, AI generated avatar of myself, right? And that took again, less than 30 seconds ish to create um, with a little bit of rendering time online. It's probably five minutes end to end. Um, now, re realistically, there's a few kind of hallucinations that take place with the way that my hand gestures work, but that's because I'm using the free edition of HeyGen because I don't want to pay for the, the way you can fine tune your avatar. And also you need to upload more video footage for it to learn your gestures and when to put things in the right place. But it's not bad, right? That is literally me doing a presentation potentially in the bottom right hand corner of a screen or something, and no one would really know. Um, now let's see what happens if I do the same video but now overlay the voice recording from the last Dutch Eleven Labs video I did. So these are then very, very different to see how it then actually synchronizes my mouth to the words coming out of my, in, in Dutch language. So let's see how that works. Hello allemaal, Kyle here. Ik wilde even een heel snel videootje maken over hoe makkelijk het eigenlijk is om stemmen van mensen te repliceren met kunstmatige intelligentie en dan ook een nagesynchroniseerde versie overlayen. Een voorbeeld hiervan is hoe ik om een kopie van mijn stem te maken, om audiobestanden voor podcasts te maken of om wedstrijdverhalen voor mijn kind voor te lezen. Ik weet het niet en doe dat niet, want dat is slecht ouderschap. Of nog meer, hoe neem je dan een teamvergadering, een podcast of een gesprek? So again, you can see that it's created the video has changed the gestures of my hands to be moving. And you can see me looking down a little bit, doing, depending on what I'm saying in, in the Dutch language. Now, as I've said before, I don't speak Dutch, so I don't, I can't marry up the gestures and everything else. Um, but as at first, first glance, it looks pretty good, right? It could pass as, as me doing something that I can't actually do myself. So let's now just take a very quick look into how this was actually created. So if you wanted to create your own avatars, you know how to. There's many platforms out there, but the one that I used for this was HeyGen. So let's take a look. So this is me in the HeyGen platform where I've logged in and now got access to this portal. Um, what we can kind of see here is some existing videos I've already done, which is the ones that are in this video that you've just seen. Um, but how did I create the avatar? What did I actually do? So let's just, just have a quick look at that. So you can create an instant avatar. This is a free edition, right? So you get two credits, which is going to give you around two minutes worth of footage maximum. Um, and then you can do a free revision, as you can see there, um, because sometimes it doesn't quite build you the avatar that you're hoping for. There's also um, a library of existing avatars that HeyGen give you access to as part of the platform. Now, if I go on to create an instant avatar, I can then choose whether I want to have the free plan or whatever plan you want to go and do. Um, it's quite expensive, <laughs> as you'd expect, right? So 360 general credits is equatable to uh, 360 minutes worth of content a year, which is $48 a month, right? Um, or you can go 720 and so on and so forth. The key thing here is it's not cheap. But if you're doing this as a job and you're creating content all the time, it's probably a nice way of churning things out. So you can see here, I've on the free edition because I didn't want to pay. Now, if I want to create an instant avatar, which now I can't do because I've already created one, um, it would then be a problem. So let's now do an edit avatar instead and see what that does. So I can change the speed. I can change the kind of face swap a little bit if I wanted to. I can do, uh, if I paid for the full version, I get 4K resolution rather than the 720p. And I can then do a half body close up or a circle just around my face. And then depending on what I'm exporting it to, it would be a great way of uh, adding it to a, a cameo kind of thing in the bottom left hand corner that like we've got here. So let's now delete this one, right? And then create a new one. 
Here you so go. Let's ignore the guy that's going to tell me how to do it because I've already done it. <laughs> um, but ultimately, we've got two things here. We have a still, which is basically me stood still or sat like I am here doing a video recording or me walking down the street like doing a selfie conversation. Now, um, that basically I'm means so that you get that things you... moving. So I'm going to click on still and then I can either read a video, uh, sorry, watch a video or read an instructions on how to do this. Um, I've already done it, so I know kind of what they want. These are the recommendations they want you to look at. So it needs to be two to five minutes worth of content, right? It needs to be high resolution and well-lit area. It needs to be quiet. It also needs to be having looking directly at the camera, which is something I forget to do when I'm doing these ones now because I've got a screen up here, which is all the information on. Um, and then also use generic gestures and keep them below your chest. Now I'm sat down, which is quite hard because um, I can't have it below my chest. Um, now, realistically, what that why they don't want you to do that is if you put your hand in front of your mouth, it will mess up with the way that AI then then changes the way your mouth is moving. So that's why. And then they don't want stitch footage and all that stuff on there. Um, to go on next, and you have an option. You can upload some existing footage you've created, right? So I could do that if I wanted to, or I could record with my webcam. So I did that previously. So I clicked on record, I turned on my mic and camera, and then it gives you a timer box that pops up. And then you basically talk to the camera for two to five minutes about anything and everything. Sing bar bar black sheep. You could go and read a story. You could do whatever. As long as you're looking at this camera and you are getting content that's of high quality for two to five minutes, it will then use that, generate it. Once you've uploaded that, you click next. You say um, it then asks you to do a, um, a, a kind of consent right because this is meant to be done responsibly as i said previously it's not just for you to do this for anybody so let's just um, do a turn on camera which I won't do it because i'm using it for this thing right well realistically um what would happen here if i wasn't using my camera is i'd be able to then record and go next so when i come to the consent piece which is on the the final step up here what that then does is it 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 launches another webcam recording right and you can do that via your phone or you can do it via your camera on your machine and you have to press record and you have to read i kyle davis blah 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 consent and all this kind of stuff to doing the uh, ai avatar creation it then uploads that and it basically cross references that against what you should have said and a pin number it gives you to confirm that it was you saying it right and then it will do some checks in the background and then it will start creating your avatar so at that point it will then create your avatar and away you go you then have a platform you can start using on so I'm going to stop that there for a second. So I'm going to go and record this so that I can then show you the consent and a few other things. So here we go. Now I can now see the bit where we're going to do the recording, right? So I'm not going to record two to five minutes because you'll all be bored out of your mind. Um, but I will freestyle, right? Or I can read a story or do whatever. So let's just freestyle it. Start a 30 second recording. Give me a countdown, right? I'll look at the camera. Well lit. Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Davis. It's nice to meet you. Um, now let me tell you about what happened to me this weekend. I managed to fall off my motorbike and break my toe, which is actually true. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain at the moment, but painkillers and a few weeks of healing, I'll be perfectly fine. Now I hope that I'll be able to ride my motorbike again before the end of the summer um, so I can get out there and have some really cool weather uh, to ride my bike on. Now, one other thing to mention, this is a AI video. I'm creating this video for you. So I hope that you find it really useful. So as you can see, I've now finished that recording. It's now put it up there. You then say that, yes, my video is lit and I'm directly camera. I've paused between sentences, which is something I don't do a lot of, right? So I could go back and re-record it if I wanted to. And then the environment is well lit and quiet as well, right? So my footage looks good. It will then um, ask me now to do the consent, as I mentioned before. So I will now go on to record via webcam again. It will then bring this up. I'm going to be saying this up here and it'll give me a passcode to do that. So start recording and you can change the language, right? So, so as you can see there, it's now creating that and it's now going to go and validate my consent to make sure that it is me and I've given them the right passcode and all that kind of stuff. And then it will then allow me to submit. So we can now see that it's now allowing me to submit. And now it will upload my videos and do all the things it needs to do. And then when you fast forward 10-ish minutes, generally, depending on the queue in the platform, it will now create me my avatar, as you can see there, right? So if we um, now lead that to run and come back, we'll find that the avatar will be created. There we go. So we see the avatar is now created. Um, we can check it out if we want to. But the best thing now to do would be to create a video, right? So let's go into create video. 
and then we can choose whether we want it in landscape or, or portrait. So depending on whether you're doing uh, YouTube style stuff or portrait kind of TikTok, Instagram kind of reels. Uh, so let's just do landscape for now. Right, I can choose my avatar, which will put it in. Right, and then I would go into the script. Now this is where two things happen. So I can choose my ones from 11 labs that I had before, uh, or I can um, use an existing uh, voiceover. If I do that, I then just type in the script I want it to read, right? Now, when you're doing that, you need to make sure you put in a couple of full stops every now and again to get a prolonged pause, or you need to put exclamation marks in, or for example, with my last name being Davis, even though it's spelled with an E, it will say Davies. So um, I remove the E from the word and it gets it more accurate to the, the kind of uh, pronunciation I want it to be. And there's a little bit of kind of fine tuning there you want to do. So you can do that. Or the other option is you can, uh, like my dubbing that I did with 11 Labs previously um, in Dutch, I can upload the audio for AI voices like it was there previously, right? So I can play that. So you can hear that's the, the, the recording that I had previously. So I would add that in. I'd delete that one and that's in there. I would shrink all of this down to the end of that video. I would then click submit. Right, and it would say, I need one credit. I've got two credits left. They recycle every day, I believe. So you get two credits a day. I click Submit. And then we now wait for it to generate the new video. So you can see it looks very similar to the last ones. It should be very similar to the one I had in Dutch previously, but we're now in my black t-shirt on because that's what I just created that avatar with. So let's wait for that to finish. And then I will drop in a very short snippet because you've already seen it with the white t-shirt on already. So we can now see that the avatar is now finished creating, right? So. Um, what I would do then, I can play it in there, I can edit it, but I'm just going to click download and download it to my machine. So let's see what it created. Hello allemaal, Kyle here. Ik wilde even een heel snel videootje maken over hoe makkelijk het eigenlijk is om stemmen van mensen te repliceren met kunstmatige intelligentie en dan... So as we saw, the video's now been created and you've just seen it dub me in Dutch with better lip sync and all those kind of things and hand gestures and all the kind of things we've been talking about, which is great. Because um, that would get past as an okay result, right? It's not perfect, but you got to bear in mind, I've not paid for this. This is free at the moment, right? I've got two credits a day. Um, if I paid for the premium licensing, I then get 4K exports. I get better ways of editing the avatar and things like that to make it even better. So if you think about what I get for free versus what I get if I paid for it, it'd be amazing, right? So just to cover a few other things on here that, that HeyGen offer you as a platform, um, you can do AI voices, um, without 11 labs, right? So you, it can create you an instant avatar using your your voice, but it's not quite as good as 11 labs in my opinion. Um, you can create your own brand kits and things like that. Um, but the other thing on here is you can actually create um, uh, like photo movements. So it could just be a still photo and it'll just change your mouth and you, that's about it. It looks a bit weird, right? You'll see that a lot on things like TikTok and things like that that, that a lot of the social influencers use. Um, but again, it's just another way of creating different types of content and ease of creating it more than anything else, right? Um, so photo avatars, as we kind of mentioned there, right? So it could be a photo that you upload, or it could be a avatar, which is like a 3D kind of CGI uh, created one. So that's the one that everyone generally sees online, which is the Mona Lisa kind of one. So we can go on here and say create with AI Studio again, and I could then make Mona Lisa say something from this picture if I really wanted to. Um, but yeah, so a lot of kind of good stuff there. And then the studio avatar again is where you can basically record your avatar using a stood up kind of motion with a green screen. And it would then allow you to then overlay backgrounds and presentations and things like that. So again, it makes it even more um, believable and capable of delivering maybe content for internal learning or even just uh, sharing on YouTube and things. So just gonna summarize, um, I've shown you how to do audio replication on the previous video. We've now imported that audio into HeyGen created a, a visual avatar of myself uh, twice now, one with the white t-shirt, one with the black, so I can change it if I wanted to. Um, but you can kind of see how easy this stuff is, right? And I think the key words here for me is that the possibilities are endless, right? Even more so when we start trying to reach different markets, different languages, making it feel more realistic. It's not perfect, right? Let's be, let's be honest, but it's good enough in some cases. Um, I think really for me is make sure that if you are going to play with these things that you do have consent and also you use it responsibly. On that note, have a great time, enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next video.